I will never stop getting cosmetic surgery because this is my lifestyle. Two years ago, I had no job. After the anesthesia, I wake up with a long-term permanent erection. It happened during the surgery. That was one of the worst periods of my life. I'm not scared getting surgery after what happened to me. Today, I'm gonna have a fat transfer. They're gonna transfer a little fat somewhere from my body to my forehead. Mm. 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 I'm Neven and I'm botched in surgery, but I'm not scared getting more work. You showed me super the photo. The photo is super dark. I will tell that I have about six procedures, but some of the procedures I was repeat, unfortunately, because they were not successful from the first time. I had no job, I had my eye done, eyebrows transportation, I had my lips done, my cheeks done, and that's it. When we talk about money, you know, what I spend on my procedures, this is something about what I don't like to talk because people start to think that you're spending too much, you know, but I did all this for my pleasure, you know, to make myself satisfied. On my Instagram, I get so many different kind of comments. There is always people who like me. There is also some people who don't like my look. Looking good is important because this is the one thing what they first people notice on you, how do you look. They cannot see your personality from inside. They, they just see the, the, the look. Two years ago, I've been in Iran for the no job. When I wake up from the anesthesia, actually I wake up with a long-term permanent erection. It's happened during the surgery. I think the anesthesia was a trigger what actually did this to me. After what happened to me with this permanent erection, I feel very, very bad. That was one of the worst periods of my life. I had three surgery on my wheelie. The time of the healing was really difficult and so long. It's about three months. I'm not scared getting surgery after what happened to me. I'm more scared about anesthesia. If I could do any surgery in a local anesthesia, I will always choose this one. I want to stop aging, you know, and I want to look something between 35 the 45, something in the middle. This is why I do more surgery. I don't think that I will ever stop getting surgery. We all getting old, but I want to stop this process. I could say that I am addicted to plastic surgery because I always think about plastic surgery. Today I gonna have a fat transfer. They're gonna transfer a little fat somewhere from my body to my forehead because I want to get this baby shape of my forehead to look more young. When you go to do some surgery, there is always some kind of risk. I will lie if I say that I am not worried. I'm always worried. Some of my friends know that I have this procedure and they told me that I'm crazy. I feel good, you know, it's a, little, a, a bit painful, but nothing what I can handle. No pain, no gain, you know. I can't wait to see the, you know, the final results. Oh, I could tell that it's go well, and it's, uh, now I feel very good. Oh my God, cause I'm a catastrophe, okay, Baba. Hey. 
He look younger and much beautiful. He look refreshing. I worry all the time because they have a risk, but thank God our doctor know what they do and they do a good job. Like you can see on his face. Of course, there I will get more procedure, but not right now. I think in a, in, in a couple of years probably I will find something that uh, will bother me on my face again. You know, I will never stop getting cosmetic surgery because this is my lifestyle. I think care so much about my look, and to me it's so important to look young 